Welcome back. This is EXO, and this video covers introductory usage of XDOS version 5 within LaunchBox. When you first start up LaunchBox, you'll be presented with a list of over 7,200 games, which can be a little intimidating. So let's talk about how to sort that down. One method is by developer. If you click up here where it says platform category, we'll get a drop down of other ways of sorting the list. In this case, let's go to developer. Now on the left side, we have every developer in the entire pack. Now this list has been normalized, so you don't have three versions of the same developer in here, or four or five. A great example of this is Sierra Online, who used multiple names for publishing and developing during their time. Let's go ahead and scroll down to S here and take a look at Sierra's list. And here we are at Sierra Online. Now these are all games that were developed by Sierra, not published by them. So for that, we'd have to pick a different drop down. When we click on one of these games, we get metadata on the right side here. So by Sierra, published by Sierra. This one's not rated, it's pre-ESRB. It's an adventure game. It's in the Conquest series, with the other one being Conquest of Camelot. A general fantasy theme. Here we got a little music for the game playing in the background. It is a single player only game. It was a commercial release. And finally, this is the actual file that LaunchBox is calling when you launch the game. Below that, you get a description of the game. And even further down, you'll see some images from what the game will look like and what you can expect. Now, one of the great things about Exodus is you're not stuck with the most common version of the game. For example, let's use King's Quest IV, which is one of my favorites. So now we're going to launch the game here. And right off the bat, we have lots of options. We can launch the Tandy 1000 version, the IBM PC version, or we can use Scum VM. Now, Tandy is limited to the AGI version, which is the original adventure game interpreter engine that Sierra Online used. For this video, we're going to launch the IBM PC version. DOSBox is launched, and we have more options. Now, we can play the game with SCI or AGI. We can play with Sandblaster MT32, AGI used original PC speaker. Now one of the neatest ones here is the Ultimate version. This was put together by a fellow that goes by NRS, New Rising Sun. It takes assets from the SCI version and the AGI version and merges them together. The coolest effect though is we actually get MT32 background music, we get Sandblaster effects, and the Amiga version actually had environmental ambiance. So when you're at the beach, you hear seagulls. When you're in the forest, you can hear creaking. Those sound effects have been brought in, and they're being run through the Gravis Ultrasound Emulator in DOSBox. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Ultimate version. Occasionally, when you launch a game, you will be presented with copy protection questions. Many of the games in Exodus, well over 90%, have been cracked. You can type in anything you want, and the game will bypass the copy protection. In this case, NRS chose to retain the original copy protection that was built into King's Quest IV. Go back over to our LaunchBox window, right click, and see we have copy protection answers right here. Or we can open up the full manual and look at it the old fashioned way. We've already got the copy protection answers open and ready to go. So page nine, seventh word, second paragraph, noblest. This is not our first time playing, hopefully. And there you can hear the waves crashing, the seagulls crying. MT32 soundtrack. and Sound Blaster effects. Every game is going to present its sound options to you. Now, not all games have an ultimate version. Several other games, however, do have fun hidden things. For example, Space Quest III had speech in the intro that had been cut from the PC version and has been reinstated in this version. Other games, like Leisure Suit Larry 6, also have the high-res Windows version available if you launch the game via ScumVM. 
When you find a game in a series and you're interested in seeing the rest of the series, you can come to the drop down, change to series, and you will be presented with every series within Exodus. For example, when we click on King's Quest, here is every King's Quest game that was released on DOS. That includes the original 1987 release, the 2001 Tierra remake, the PC Junior release, and the 1990 SCI VGA remake. Now back on the full game list, you may notice that some games don't have covers. That's because many games were not released in boxes. A game like 386 Spies, for example, this was a shareware game that didn't have a full release. If you want to have a clean view here, you have two options. One, if you go to view, you can hide games that are missing their box front image. The better option, however, is in the full version of LaunchBox, you'll note this is a free version, and the full version is really not that expensive, guys. You have the ability to prioritize the image that is shown. So for games that do not have a front image, you can have it default to the game title screen, for example, or if there's a picture of the game's media, like the CD or floppy the game came on. You also have the ability to use something called big box mode. Now I'll have a different video on that, or you can look at one of the mini videos on big box mode that LaunchBox has posted. This is a arcade friendly type mode that allows you to scroll through, not a lot of text, but man, it is a gorgeous looking mode. And so for those cases, every game in Exodus does have a title screen and a screenshot at the very least, so there's some kind of graphic that can be displayed with it. If we scroll down here at the bottom of 386 Spies, we have the title, we have the screenshot. Other things we can sort by include genre, which if you happen to be a Sierra fan, allows you to see every adventure game on the platform all at one time. Or maybe you happen to really like casino games. Here they all are, 161 of them. Now, as mentioned in my previous video, one of the great ways to browse the collection for a new person is by the favorites mode. This is a list of all games in Exodus that have been marked favorite either by myself or voted on by the community at my Discord server. These 360 games represent the best of each genre across the entire platform. There's some real gems in here, and even for those who are seasoned and have played a lot of DOS in their life, there's a good chance there's something in here that you haven't experienced yet. It is well worth your time to explore this list, and you might find a new favorite you hadn't played before. Another fun way to browse the collection is by release year. You can start from the beginning and play the very, very first games that had IBM ports, or you can jump all the way to 2020 and see games that were released this year. Finally, before we wrap this video up, the final mode is the new playlist. By going back to platform category, Expanding our computers and MS-DOS categories, we can see all 3D effects games, all games that use CGA composite mode, various different sound cards, all which have remote multiplayer capability. This is going to include any game that supported IPX networking or even null modem cables in most cases. And of course, any game that you actually have installed and ready to play right this moment. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask them here or jump on over to our Discord server. Links can be found at retro-exo.com or in the readme files and manuals of Exodus version five. Thank you for your time. Take care.